Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's been some days, but I am here. Praise the Lord. I am here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's been some days. I hope you are well wherever you are this morning. I pray that you are blessed in the Lord. Um, this morning, it's early, and I, the Lord, wake, I'm up. And as I was praying and talking to the Lord on my knees, he brought to my my mind shield and buckler shield and buckler so the lord is fighting for someone today he is fighting for you today he is fighting for you in that situation he's fighting for you in your distress he's fighting for you when you think the water is above your your loins and it's going you know it's coming up to your head he's fighting for you when you don't see a way he's fighting for you when you can't make sense of what to do or how to get out of this thing the lord is fighting for you and i was led to psalms 18 and i'm going to read all of psalms 18 because i want you to understand what the lord is doing and when the lord is fighting for you you don't have anything to worry about don't fret don't swear, don't worry, stand, do all that you can to stand. When you're tired and weary, just stand, stand in the word of God, fall on your face. Ha. Yes, fall on your face. I am here, Lord. What shall I do? I am here, Lord. I don't know where to go. I am here, Lord. I don't see a way. I am here, Savior. Save me. You promised me wherever I am, you are there. You promised me that you know my location. You know the hairs on my head. You know everything about me. There's nothing that the Lord does not know about you. So wherever you find yourself in or whatever you find yourself in this morning, he is with you. He is for you. He is with you and he is for you. He is with you and he is for you. The Lord is with you and he is for you. I don't know who this word is for, but the Lord say shield and buckler. I am your shield and buckler. I am your shield and buckler. Fear not for I am with you. Precious Lord, I thank you, Lord, faithful God, for this morning. Here I am again, O oh God, in your presence, O oh God. In you I rest, in you I sing, in you I dance, in you I have joy abundantly, in you I am full, in you I am filled, O oh God, unconditionally filled. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the many mercies each day, oh God. Thank you for journeying with us, oh Lord, watching over, oh God, this content, oh Lord, this channel. I pray, oh God, the notion of Jesus Christ ha, will fall fresh upon us, oh God, upon your people, triumphant God, causing us to be triumphant, causing us to be victorious, causing us to be winners, causing us, oh Lord, to be courageous. Father, you said, come, and you will be found. You said, seek your face and you will be found. You said, seek ye the things of heaven and you will. All things shall be added unto us, O Lord. So here we are this morning, precious Lord. Here we are this beautiful day, O God. Many are getting up, O God. Many are still sleeping, O God. But I pray that the countenance and the presence of the Lord will fall. I pray that the goodness of the Lord will fall. I pray, O God, that you will continue condition our minds and our body that you will scrub us oh god that you will give us a deep clean in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that where you are oh god is where we want to be help us to align ourselves to you oh god help us to turn our face to you oh god when we don't see a way oh god when we don't understand oh god when we feel like all things are coming upon us when we feel like the enemy is right there when we feel like the bills are too much oh god when we feel like our children have gone to astray when we feel like our relationships are failed us oh god father you promised that you are god that you are the holy head of our of israel so we trust in you precious lord that we're 
today that you are here in our lives, in our mind, in our situation, in our circumstance, in our environment, in our jobs, in our home, in our schools, precious Lord, in our bedrooms, in the hospitals, wherever, oh God, your people is, you are there, oh God. Spirits of the living God, set loose, oh God, the people that are bound this morning, set loose, oh God, that needs to know that you remember them, oh God. Set loose their feet from the shackles and the chain. Set loose, oh God, those that are in the dung hill, oh God, those that are in the desert, oh God, that needs you, oh God, that need a touch from you. This morning, precious Lord, Spirit of the living God, I call down your spirit, oh God. I call down your presence, oh God. I call down your favor, mighty God. I call down your judgment. I call down your defense. I call down your strong tower. I call down, oh Lord, all of you, oh God, not some of you, oh God, but all of you, sweet Jesus. And I thank you, Lord, for being the lifter of my head, being the lifter of my children's head, being the lifter of my family and my foes and my friends' head, being the lifter of my neighbor's head, being the lifter of my viewer's head. I thank you, Lord, for the glorious things that you have continued to do in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I say yes to your will. I say yes to your way. I say yes, Lord, to you. Hallelujah. 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 You are the lifter, oh God. You are the lens, oh God. You are the oil, oh God. You said you are the oil in any flood, in any water, in any situation, in any circumstance, Lord. You are bigger than the giants. You are bigger than the, sh the you are bigger than the mountains. You are bigger, Lord, than the enemies. You are bigger than the sickness. You are bigger than the set up and the setback. You are bigger, oh God, than the procrastination. You are bigger than the delay. You are bigger, O oh God, than the drought. You are bigger, O oh Lord, than the things that we are being attacked with. You are bigger, O oh God, by the darts. You are bigger than the arrows. You are bigger, O oh God, than the small giants and the big giants. You are bigger, O oh God, than the gods of this world. You are bigger, mighty God. You are bigger. You are bigger. You are bigger, Abba Father. You are bigger. You are bigger. You are the head, Lord. You are above, O oh God. And I thank you, faithful Lord. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Lord. I honor you. I honor you. I honor you, mighty God. We honor you this day. And we say, ha, be still. Be still, enemies. Be still, sickness. Be still, naysayers. Be still, witchcraft workers. Be still, warmongers. Be still, pestilence. Be still sickness, be still poverty, be still lack, be still destruction, be still lies, be still in the Lord, for he is with us, he is fighting for us. Be still in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name that is able to dissect and destroy, in the name that is able to rip up, in the name that is able to dis dissect and separate, in the name that is above all other names. Mighty God, hallelujah, hallelujah, glory. Thank you, Lord. Ha, ha, ye, bo, she, roko, si, anda, arabo, she, anda, rabo, si, roko, se, ke, arabo, she, ha, ye, bo, she, an, roko, sata, ye, bo, si, gather together, ha, gather together. Gather together, uh, gather together, 
gather together and fall on your face ha, for the Lord is near for the Lord is here for the Lord is present for the Lord is king for the Lord is God for the Lord is healer for the Lord is redeemer for the Lord is a strong tower for the Lord is the shield and buckler for the Lord is the oil for the Lord he is good for he is good for he is good ha yes for yes, ha, for yes, hallelujah, hallelujah, ha, hallelujah, yes, yes, ha, yes, yes, praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the lilies of the valley, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord in the storm. Praise the Lord in the bed, in your sick bed. Praise the Lord in your frustration. Praise the Lord when it don't look like because he is the I am, the I am. Because he is the way maker. When you can't see the way, when you don't know no other way, he is already gone before you. He has already gone before you. Don't get don't get unraveled in the Lord. Don't get unraveled. Stand with courage. Stand with boldness. Stand and say, I know the Lord will pull me through this. I know the Lord has his hand upon me. I know the Lord favors me. I know the Lord speak on my behalf. I know the Lord has already prepared it for me. I know the Lord. Yes, he's a good God. He's a faithful God. He's an everlasting God, and he is your shield and buckler this morning. I don't know who this word is for, but the Lord is your shield and buckler. The Lord wants you to know that no matter what you are facing this morning, this present day, he is fighting for you. His hands are upon you. He's establishing your way. He's establishing your way. He's establishing your way. No matter how it look, go through it in the name of Jesus. Don't give up. Don't be propelled. Don't let the wind blow you back. Don't let the naysayers blow you back. Don't let the lies form you down, but be like, oh God, that, that tree. Yes, that oak tree. Stand. Stand in the Lord, stand with your countenance, knowing that God is for me. He is my provider. He's the way maker. He's a healer. He hears my voice. He receives me. He is with me. He covers me. Speak these things over your life. Speak it over your situation. Speak it in your homes. Walk through your homes and declare that this place belongs to the Lord. This is the temple of the Lord. This is the place, the abiding city of the Most High God. Speak it in the bathroom, speak it in your living room, speak it in your kitchen, speak it in your children's room, speak it in the hallways, touch your windows, touch your doors. Hallelujah. Mighty, mighty, mighty God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Get your Bibles. And we're going to break bread together this morning. We're going to, yes, eat uh, the word this morning. We're going to digest what the Lord had to say this morning. We're going to be full in the Lord this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, this word will go forward. It will not be hindered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Psalms 18. Psalms 18. Psalms 18. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. My Lord is my rock and my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler and the horn of my salvation and my high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me, and the floods of the ungodly men made me afraid. Don't be afraid in the face of your enemies. Be bold. Be bold. No matter who they are, no matter how they look, no matter how mighty they may seem, no matter the words they use, stand fast on the Lord this morning. 
The sorrows of hell compassed me about. The sneers of death prevented me. Hm. Stand in the Lord. In my distress, I call upon the Lord and cried unto my God. He heard my voice out of his temple. Wherever you are, the Lord hears you. Wherever you are squirming the words of prayer this morning, he hears you wherever you are. In the secret place, he hears you. In your, in your closet, he hears you. On your knees, in your bedroom, by your bed, he hears you. He hears you in your car. He hears you. He hears you. He hears you. He heard my voice out of his temple. Your, your prayer, your sound, right? Your, 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 your urgency. That's in your voice, he heard. Yes, he heard, right, out of his temple. And my cry came before him, even into his ears, right? Listen, then the earth shook and trembled. The foundation also of the hills move, moved and were shaken because he was wroth. You're, you're not forgotten. The Lord has heard you and your enemies are falling before you. Your enemies shall, not if, but they will be your footstool. Your enemies will be your footstool because you serve a God that hears. You serve a God that cares. You serve a God that can be felt by your urgency. He knows where you are. There went up a smoke out of his nostril and fire out of his mouth devoured coals were kindled by it that's the anger your urgency you are in need the lord knows and the, he sees the attack he sees what the enemy is doing but he wants you to stand through it he wants you to know that you are you have a shield and buckler and it's the lord jesus christ he wants you to know that you are saved you are good. You are good where you are. Don't worry, right? Stand firm. Stand firm in the Lord. He, he bowed the heavens also and came down and darkness was under his feet and he rode upon a cherubim and did fly. Yea, he did fly upon the wings of the wind. He made darkness his secret place. His pavilion round about him were dark waters and thick clouds of 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 the skies at the brightness that was before him he his thick clouds passed yale stones coal of fire the lord also thundered in the heavens and and his highest gave his voice hailstones and coal of fire so when he spoke when he moved things happen when the lord is fighting for you you will begin to see things ripple effect on your enemies not just one but all of what you're going through will begin to fall right will begin to be destroyed you are you are released you are released. You are set free. You are free of all things that has been cleaving onto you, that has been attacking your mind, that has been attacking your lungs, that has been attacking your fingers, that has been attacking your knees, that has been attacking your ankle. You are free. That has been attacking your hip. Whatever, oh God, yes, whatever it was, you are free. You are free. Hit your hip and say healing in my hip. Hit your knee and say the Lord touched me. The Lord revived me. The Lord made this body. The Lord made this flesh. And my knees will walk, not feel me. My fingers will not feel me. My feet and my toes will not feel me. My arms will not feel me. My mind will not feel me. My heart will not feel me. Because I stand in the Lord. I live in the Lord. I move and have my being in the Lord. I speak in the Lord. I drive in the Lord. I cook in the Lord. I sing in the Lord. I dance in the Lord. These hands are made for the Lord to give the Lord rejoicing. These hands and this body will praise, will jump in the Lord. Sickness has no place here in the name of Jesus. 14. Yea, he sent out his arrows and scattered them, and he shot out lightning and discomfited them. Then the channels of waters were seen, and the foundations of the world were discovered at thy re rebuke. O Lord, at the blast of the breath of thy nostril, he sent from above and took me. He drew me out of many waters. 
The Lord is rescuing you. The Lord is your life support. The Lord is your life vest. Your, the Lord is your strong tower, right? He is the lifeguard of all lifeguards, right? So if you feel like you're drowning this morning, if you feel like you are in the water and you're fighting, rest assured that he is there. Rest assured that he is with you. Rest assured that he is around you. Rest assured that he is pulling you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The ring of the Lord, the ring of the protection of the Lord is around you. His protection is around you. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from them which hated me. He which hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me because he delighted in me. The Lord is delivering you because he delights in you. He knows that you are still with him. No matter what the temptation is, no matter what you are going through, you have made up in your heart of hearts, in your mind, in your body, in your soul, that you're going to do all to stand for the Lord. You're going to do all in the presence of the Lord. You're not going to bend. You're not going to bend, but you're going to stand tall. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanness of my hands, as he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not wickedly depart from my God. Because you did not depart from the Lord, he, he has rescued you because you have not depart from the Lord. He remembers you because you did not depart when things were coming in and folding on you because you did not run and hide because you did not throw up your hand and say, forgive, forget this. God is not with me. I don't see the Lord because you stood firm. The Lord is with you and he's moving now because you stood firm because you stood your ground. He is with you. For I have kept the ways of the Lord and have not the, the and have not wickedly depart from my God. For all my judgments were before me, and I did not put away the statues from God. So despite what your sins are, despite what your flaws are, despite despite your shortcomings, despite all the things that you know that you did that was contrary to the will and the way of God, you still you you stood first. You repented. You seek the Lord's face and you ask for forgiveness. And this is why the Lord is coming at your to your rescue. This is why the Lord is pulling you out of the deep waters. This is why the Lord is saving you from the bills that are mounted. This is why the Lord. Lord has shut the mouth of your enemies that spewed out lies against you and hate. This is why the lies, the, the Lord has blinded your enemies because you stood still. You remember the Lord. You repented of your things that you have done in the past. You repented of your faults. You, you, you repented of your, your, your destructiveness. You repented and the Lord, you made his statues your way. You still stood firm. I, I was also upright before him, and I kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore, hath the Lord recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to the cleansiness of my hands, in his eyesight, with his mercy. With the merciful, thou shalt show thyself mercy. With the upright man, thou wilt show thyself upright. With pure, thou wilt show thyself pure. And with, a, with the froth. Forward, thou wilt show thyself forward. For thou wilt save the afflicted people, but will bring down high looks. Right? Those that have been afflicted, those that have been whipped, those that have been bound, those that have been down, those that have been seeking the Lord, feeling like, I don't know what else to do. Right? And everyone that was over you, your enemies, he's going to bring down those that looked upon you and say, ill or whatever. Their salutation was against you. The Lord is will, is bringing them down, right? Those that was too hate haughty in their heart, those that did not, those that saw that you were struggling did not help you when they could have helped you, right? Don't worry. Twenty eight. For thou wilt light my candle. The Lord my God will enlarge, enlighten my darkness. You heard that. 
for thou will light my candle. So you're in darkness. You can't see. The Lord is going to light, strike that light, the match to light your candle, right? Because darkness cannot comprehend light. And the light of God is showing up. Huh? Yes, the light of God has showed up in your life. The light of God has showed up as a support for you, as your defense. For for thou wilt light my candle, the Lord my God will enlighten my darkness. For by, for by thee I have run through a troop, and by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, this way is perfect. His way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler. That word again. He is a buckler to all those that trust in Him, and that's the truth. And I am a big testimony of this. I am a test to, I can attest to the Lord that I've kept my faith even when I didn't see a way even when I didn't understand I said Lord I don't know I don't get how you're gonna do this but you I know you're gonna come through I know you're gonna show up I know you're gonna make a way stand your grounds stand knowing that the Lord is able we do not serve a God that is lame we serve a God that is mighty right? He is a buckler to all those that trust in him. For, for who is God? For who is God save the Lord? For who is a rock save our God? For who is God save the Lord? My God. For who is God save the Lord? For who is God save the Lord? The Lord is going to save you. The Lord is your redeemer. The Lord is your amulet. The Lord is your shield. He is the Lord who is a rock. Save our God. The Lord is going to save you because you've made the Lord your rock. You've made the Lord your post. You've made the Lord your, your, your tower, your resting place. You've made the Lord your backbone. You've made the Lord your all in all. It is God that girdeth me with strength and make my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hind's feet. He setteth me upon my high places. He, he teaches my hands to war so that a bow of steel is broken off mine arms. My God, not even the arrows that fly up by day can come near you, nor the pestilence, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. Thou hast also given me the shield of thy salvation and thy right hand have hold me up and thy gentleness have made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me that my feet did not slip. Praise the Lord. I have pursued my enemies and overtaken them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. Mm. I have wounded them that they were not able to rise. They are falling under my feet for thou hast girded me with strength un unto the battle. Thou hast subdued those those under me, those that rose up against me, praise the Lord. Thou hast also given me the necks of my enemies that I might destroy them that hate me. Don't worry. Don't worry. You serve a God that sits high and look low. Don't worry. We, we are, he understands, right? That we're just flesh, right? Don't worry. Don't worry. They cried. But there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. So the, your enemies that say they praise the Lord, but they're attacking you, but they're mean to you. They have throw you like a th trash in the garbage. They have tossed you. They have done all manner of evil to you. They have laid a net for you, for your feet. They have put things in place. They have put stuff in your food and thought it would arm you. <laughs> for the Lord, the Lord who you meditate on day and night, the Lord who you seek day and night, he is that armor. He is, oh my God, my God, nothing can come against you. 
nothing, nothing, nothing. They cried, but there was none to save them, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. So now that when they were attacking you, when you were in this, when you were dismayed, when you were not remembered or favored, right? But now that the Lord is repaying them for all that they have done to his people are you right now they're calling lord save me lord forgive me but he's not hearing he's not hearing because when they should have had mercy on you when they should have favored you when they should have loved you when they should have treated you like the, the the gem that you are they did not when they lied against you and spread propaganda against you Right now they need that savior to come and save them, but he is not hearing. Then did I beat them small as dust before the wind. My God, I did cast them out as the dirt in the streets. Praise the Lord. Thou has delivered me from the striving of the people. Thou has made me the head of the heathen. A people whom I have not known shall serve me. Mighty God. Stay steadfast in the Lord and walk according to the Lord. Walk in, his, walk in your purpose. Pick up your shield and buckler. Pick up what is due unto you. Pick up in the name of Jesus. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and be afraid out of their close places the lord liveth and blessed be my rock blessed be your rock and let the god of our salvation be exalted <laughs> let the god of your salvation be exalted in your heart in your mind every day it is god that avengeth me my god it is god that fights for you it is god that go before your manager it is god that go before your boss it is god that seek out their heart when they're sleeping it is god that speak on your behalf when the, your enemy's head is rest against their pillow it is god so those that hated you yesterday you see them today and it's like what it's not it's like they didn't Yesterday, you gave me that evil look. Yesterday, you were mean to me, but today you're my friend. Today, you know me. Today, you receive me. It is God that spoke on your behalf last night. It is God. It is God that avenge, avenge of me. It is God that subdued the people under me. He delivered me from mine enemies. Yea, thou liftest me up above those that rise up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore, will I give thanks unto thee, O oh Lord, among the heathen, and sing praises unto thy name, faithful God. Hallelujah. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, and showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. 50. And there ends the reading of Psalms 18. Great deliverance. Your deliverance is great. Your victory is great. You have won the battle. You have stepped over the boundaries that they put before you. They, the lines that blocked you has now fallen in pleasant places. You have stepped over into larger territories that those that tried to keep you in a small place, a cluster place, the Lord has destroyed has come between, has severed the tides, and now your feet is in greener pasture. Praises be to the Lord. Praises be to the Lord. Great deliverance giveth he to his king, my God, and showeth mercy to his anointed. Be anointed. Don't get tired of serving the Lord. Don't get tired of speaking of the goodness of the Lord. Don't get tired of sharing your testimonies. Don't get tired of speaking about Jesus. Don't get tired in the name of Jesus. He showeth mercy to his anointed, to David, and to his seed forevermore. Psalms. Okay. When I heard Sheila Buckler, I looked up what a buckler is. It refers to a small round shield used for clothes. Contact fighting. A small round shield used for clothes. Contact fighting. Think of those, uh, you know, warriors or those tribes, right? And you see them with the little shield in front of them, right? And it, that's a buckler. And a shield is much larger 
one you can dig into the ground and hide behind when spears and arrows, my God, are rocks are being launched at you in a bigger attack. So a buckler is for a smaller attack, right? It's not so large. It's not that many that are against you. The army that is against you are not many, right? So that's what a buckler is used in 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 um is used for. But a shield is when you are in a larger fight, right? When there's many, right? And there's so many things coming. There's spears, there's arrows, there's rocks, right? A shield can be dig into the ground. So this is your protection, a full protection from the head to the feet, right? A buckler may just protect your face and your upper body, but your feet is left out unprotected, right? So when you put the shield together and you put the buckler together, you are you have double protection, right? So not just your heart, which is important, is covered double, right? Because you have your buckler, which is much smaller, that covers your upper portion. Then you have the shield that covers from your crown to your sole of your feet, right? So put those two together and you are protected. That's what the Lord gave me. And Psalms 35, Psalms 35 too. And this is for somebody. Take hold of shield and buckler and stand up for mine help, right? So you're going to say, Lord, I take hold of the shield and buckler and I'm trusting you that you're going to stand up for my help. My help coming from the Lord who's in heaven, right? Psalms 91. Psalms 91, 4. Psalms 91, 4. Let's read from Psalms 91, 1 through 4. He that walketh in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that walketh in the secret place of the Most High. He that walketh in the straight and narrow. You that walketh aligning, con you know, in connected with the Lord in the place of the Lord. You did not go astray. You're not walking with the heathens. You're not listening to the rumor rumors. You're not lit walking with those that use double mouth you're not walking with those that are double minded you're walking in the straight and narrow with the lord right you've made the lord your secret place i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust surely he shall deliver me from the snares and the fowler and from the noisome pestilence from the chaos and the chaoticness, he's go he has already delivered you. He shall cover thee with feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. The Lord is a present help for you, and know that that he loves you. This morning, as I was brushing my teeth to get up, well, I, I was up, right? And I'm seeing a water, right? And oil right? Anointing oil, olive oil, right? And the Lord says he is the oil, no matter what the waters are, right? The Lord is saying he is the oil, right? So no matter what the enemies are, the, the water can represent anything, your enemies, your bad luck, your misfortune, your failures, your setup, right? Your discouragement, right? Anything, your lack, right? This is the water. It represents that, right? Your, your, the sickness, whatever it is that the enemy is or represent mean to you, right? God is the oil, right? So this is what he gave me this morning as I was prepping to come on here, right? So he's the oil. I'm going to pour it in the water. The water represent everything that is not good. Everything that has been attacking you. Anything that has been um, strangling you. This is what this is. The water, right? It's your enemy, right? And God is the oil. Jesus Christ is the oil, right? So you pour it in the water, right? No matter what you're going through, I don't know if you can see that in the water, right? The oil is so thick and clustered, right? I don't know if you can see this demonstration. All right, God, I'm going to do my best, Lord. No matter the amount of water, no matter the amount of attacks that you're going through, no matter the amount of situation that you may find yourself in, the Lord anoint your head with oil, right? He is the oil. The oil 
it's slick away anything. The oil releases anything, right? So the Lord is telling me that he is the oil. Despite what you're going through, despite your situation, despite your circumstances in present time, that he is the oil. Even in the, when you pour the oil in the water, it doesn't separate, right? It, it's not devoured. The water does not overpower the oil. The oil overpowered the water because the, the, the substance of the oil is stronger than the liquid of the water of what they are. So the Lord is saying his substance, his 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 who he is right is stronger than your enemies right and this is why he they, he he gave me I don't, you can't see it but if you do it for yourself get some water and pour some oil in it right no matter what kind of oil right it will be seen right it will be seen right it's still it's it's that strong the substance of the oil right so the lord is saying to you this morning he is your oil he is your portion he is your deliverer he is your strong tower he is your way maker he is your all in all so despite what you may be going through despite your enemies the oil is still there the oil is stronger than your enemies your oil is able to override that sickness your oil is able to override your disease your oil is able to override your setback the lord is able the lord is able the oil right the, the lord anoint my head with oil surely goodness and mercy shall follow you surely goodness and mercy shall follow you anoint yourself with the oil there's power in the oil the substance what the oil was made of the pressing of what came out of the oil is able to override anything in your life the lord is your oil make the lord your portion make the lord your oil right so your water represent whatever it is whatever you're going through whatever your enemies are doing whatever the strongholds are the oil jesus christ he's a devourer right everything is obeying him has to obey him see the oil sits on top of the water no matter how much water it is it sits on top right so it takes precedence over everything that you're going through over everything that you are facing the oil goes and stand before it it is that protector it is that shield and buckler in your life today and know this i hope you got this demonstration because it's what i got this morning as i was brushing my teeth and washing my face i woke up like this i slept in this to keep me warm because where i'm at is cold and i just like to feel warm at all times right so as i was on my knees praying this morning when i got up it is still early right the lord said shield and buckler right so he's your shield and buckler this morning and don't get discouraged right it's a lot of water it may seem like a lot of enemies it may seem like the bills are too much, but the Lord, the substance that is in the Lord, who God is, who Jesus Christ is, is able to override, is able to cancel your debt, is able to give you that place that you are desiring. It is able to go before you. It is able to destroy the naysayers. It is able to heal. It is able to revive and release you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the Lord be your oil. Let the oil... The, let the Lord be your oil this morning. Let the Lord be your portion. <laughs> Let the Lord be your strong tower. Let the Lord be your all in all in Jesus name. I pray that you got this this morning. I pray that you are blessed by it. And I'm going to drink this. I'm going to drink this. I'm not wasting my oil. No, I've prayed over my oil. I've anointed my oil and I'm going to drink every ounce of this. It's my water. Um, so I hope you got that this morning. I pray that you are blessed this morning. I pray that you are favored this morning. And as the Lord has said, he has gone before you. He has made your enemies your footstool because you did not forget about him. You did not get panicky and discouraged and did not pray. You did not seek him. You were still in your secret place. You were still in your closet. You were still on your knees, on your bed. He remembers and he heard. And because of that, he is already come. He's already 
pick you up out of the waters. He's already sent and throw in that life vest. He has already ha, made a way for you. He's already made a way for you. The answers are in your heart. Whatever you are trusting in the Lord for, he's already done it. He's already executed the plans of the enemy. He's already shut down the darts. He's already closed the, the lion's mouth that was opened against you. The beast that seek to devour you, he has already demolished. In the name of Jesus Christ, be blessed. Thank you for being here. I hope you got this because I had to come out and share with you. And I pray that anything that you feel, anything that you fear, <laughs> Psalms 18 was your word. Psalms 35.2 was your word. Psalms 91.4 was your word this morning. Okay? Be magnified in the Lord and know that he is God. He is God. God, that God, right? Be boastful in the Lord. Know that you have someone that you have a heavenly father that loves you regardless of who you are, despite what you have done, despite your failures, despite your disobedience. Repent and seek his face and continue to be where you are because he heard you. He heard you. He heard you. And he's not a God. He's not a liar. He's not a God that will fail. He has come to your rescue. Be blessed. Be good in the Lord. Walk good. Talk good. Until next time. And be rooted. <laughs> Much love.